In this video, I am going to talk about the association between SAP CPI and Apache Camel framework. What is SAP Apache Camel? Apache Camel is a message routing and mediation engine. Apache Camel is an open source integration framework designed to simplify the integrations of diverse systems and applications by providing a rule-based routing and mediation engine. Apache Camel is payload agnostic, which means you can feed the data in any format and Apache Camel can mediate this data between a sender and receiver system by using routings. Within SAP CPI, whenever you're trying to execute an integration process, in the background, it uses Apache Camel's integration framework for executing the message and routing the message from source to the target. Let's now quickly discuss about the message model of Apache Camel's integration framework. Typically, a Apache Camel message consists of three parts, headers, attachments, body. Body consists of the actual payload that needs to be transmitted between the source and target. Attachments are optional. You can attach any document to the message. Header consists of routing information such as the sender identifier, receiver, encoding, authentication, and other transport related information. In Apache Camel, an exchange is a fundamental concept that represents the message being passed between different components within a Camel route. It encapsulates the data being processed along with its associated metadata during entire life cycle of messages as it moves through the integration route. Let's now quickly talk about the message model of an exchange. In an exchange message, apart from in and outbound messages, we have some new parameters called exchange ID, which is a unique identifier, an exception, which actually captures any exceptions in the routing process. And we have some set of properties, which stores some global variables for message processing and for developers. And we have something called MEP, stands for message exchange pattern. And it is enum, which actually has different set of values. For example, it has in only, in out, in optional out, in optional fault. Basically, it indicates the direction. Is it a synchronous message or an asynchronous message? The freedom that developer can get with this framework is you can actually have uh, the set of steps in any order. For example, you can actually have routing, message uh, mapping and routing and message mapping and routing. So we can have different set of combination of steps in um, SAP CPI. For example, if you remember in SAP PO, we had a set of predefined steps, so we cannot change them. But we, by using SAP CPI and Apache integration framework, we can have our own defined set of steps to process the message end to end.